Well, it seems that becoming a fussy eater starts before birth, and we have the pictures to prove it. Even unborn babies hate kale. Exactly. Hi there. I'm the Study Finds guy, Jeff Allen. This is the latest from Study Finds. Now be sure to like and subscribe to get all of our latest updates. Eating carrots during pregnancy makes babies happy in the womb, according to a new British study. The nutritious root vegetable causes developing kiddos to seemingly laugh or smile. It appears that expecting moms can change the mood of unborn infants by what they have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Their food choices could influence the taste buds of children as they grow up, with implications for obesity, researchers say. Scientists recorded the first direct evidence that unborn infants react differently to various smells and tastes by looking at their facial expressions. An analysis of 4D ultrasound scans show how they responded after being exposed to flavors from foods eaten by 100 pregnant women. And here's the kicker. The more bitter leafy green kale turned the baby's smiles into scowls. Okay, here's that picture. Look at that little face on a poor baby. And now here's the little sweetie pie when mama has some carrots. Ha! Now who's a happy baby? And sure enough, those exposed to carrot or kale showed more laughter face or cry face responses, respectively. Scientists say that what pregnant women eat might also influence babies' preferences after birth and help establish an appetite for fruit and vegetables. <laughs> and my mom must have lived on rum with a Guinness chaser. Hi, <laughs> kid. That's not true. Humans experience flavor through a combination of taste and smell. In these developing kiddos, this may happen through inhaling and swallowing the amniotic fluid that surrounds the baby. They studied this by giving moms a single capsule containing about 400 milligrams of carrot or kale powder around 20 minutes before they scanned them. It was all they consumed for at least an hour. The women also did not eat or drink anything else containing carrot or kale that day. Ha <laughs> See? Kale does suck. <laughs> Take that, kale. Oh, sorry. Facial reactions showed exposure to just a small amount of carrot or kale was enough to stimulate a reaction, compared with a set of controlled babies not exposed to either lucky babies. <laughs> Scientists say their point here is that the baby might actually get used to and ultimately end up liking kale after they're born. Why are we so concerned that people like kale? Kale can kiss my <laughs> there's plenty of other healthy food out there to eat than that. All right, I know there's a ton of you out there who love kale. You can check the, oh, you know what? That soup at Olive Garden with the kale in it, that is really good. The Zupa Toscana, I'm just saying. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.